Here at Scott Legal, we know the ins and outs of immigration. We are here to help you navigate the oftentimes complex road in achieving your immigration goals. We have new immigration videos every week. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell. You can also sign up for one of our webinars or get a free immigration guide by clicking the link below. Are there exceptions to the bars to adjustment of status? Yes, let's take a look. Section 245C of the Immigration Law creates bars for applying for a green card within the United States through the adjustment of status process. However, the immigration law also allows for some exceptions to the bars to allow for adjustment of status under immigration law. Many non-citizens subject to the bar may still qualify for adjustment of status if they are considered a qualifying victim of abuse under either the U-Visa or Victims Against Women Act. Let's look at exceptions for non-citizens who entered the United States lawfully, but fell out of lawful immigration status, or who accepted unauthorized employment. The following non-citizens will qualify for an exception to the bar to adjustment of status. 1. Non-citizens who are petitioned by immediate relatives who entered lawfully regardless of whether they fell out of lawful immigration status. 2. Certain non-citizens who are considered special immigrants such as certain religious workers, special immigrant juveniles, certain Afghanistan and Iraq nationals, certain G4 international organization employees, NATO 6 employees and their family members. 3. Non-citizens who are eligible for a green card through an employment-based green card petition who failed to maintain lawful status, engaged in unauthorized employment or violated the terms and conditions of their visa admission as long as the violation did not exceed 180 days. And 4. Non-citizens who enter the United States under the Visa Waiver Program will qualify for adjustment of status if they are petitioned by immediate relatives who entered lawfully regardless of whether they fell out of lawful immigration status. Tell me more about adjustment of status under Section 245I of the Immigration and Nationality Act. This law will qualify non-citizens subject to one of the bars to be permitted to apply for a green card through the adjustment of status process. Keep in mind that to qualify, the non-citizen must have been the beneficiary of a green card petition filed with the Immigration Service on or before one of the two sunset dates set under the law, April 30, 2001 or January 15, 1998. If the petition was filed after January 15, 1998, but before April 30, 2001, the beneficiary must also prove physical presence in the United States on or around December 21, 2000. Keep in mind that these are exceptions to the technical bars to adjustment of status. These exceptions do not serve to exempt other bars that may disqualify a green card applicant, such as bars resulting from criminal law offenses or violations based on fraudulent conduct. Because of the complexities presented by immigration processes, it is important to consult with an immigration attorney to confirm whether you qualify for a green card through the adjustment of status process. To learn more, take a look at our resources in the description box below. You can also sign up for a free visa guide, any of our upcoming webinars, and Facebook groups. You can also schedule a consultation for a date and time that is best for you. We are here to help. You can contact us by calling 212 223-2964 or by sending us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.